Hey guys, my name is Femi or Jeremy and welcome back to another tutorial video today. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get Wi-Fi in Mac OS and finally, we have gotten somewhere. Some people on the internet have found a way to make our Intel Wi-Fi cards to work in Mac OS, but it isn't as smooth or as easy to use as you might think. The important thing is that Wi-Fi works and here if I click down, you see that I'm connected to my Wi-Fi network. If I should go into my browser, I'll be able to go into websites and search for anything I'm looking for. If I search for YouTube, you see it works, the internet is working, there's no problem at all. I'm just happy that we have Wi-Fi working. We don't have to use a USB Wi-Fi card or an internet connection. The name of my Wi-Fi card is the Intel 7265 12-band Wi-Fi card. And this should work with most of all those Intel Wi-Fi cards. From what I've been seeing on the internet, it's only working in Catalina, so I don't know if this will work on Mojave. So for now, I think it's only working on Catalina, and the person who made this thing possible is still working on it to perfect it and make it more stable. Sometimes if you connect to the Wi-Fi, your computer will just shut down without any notice, and yeah, that's basically it. The speeds are okay, it's not bad, it's the same as Windows to me. If I go into speedtest.net, you can try a test, you see how it performs. So it's not bad, it's working and that's the important part. Okay, so before we get into this video, I just want to thank everybody who has subscribed to my channel. I recently just hit 100 subscribers and I'm so excited. So thank you to everybody who has subscribed. Um, let's keep going. 1000 is the next milestone and I hope I could get there in soon in time. So thank you to everybody who has subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to see more of my videos and turn on post notifications to get notified when I post new videos. Um, without wasting of your time, let's get into the video. For this tutorial, we will be needing three files and they are here on the desktop. One is the hacking tool, the Apple Intel Wi-Fi.kext and a line of code that we will run later on. So first up, open this hacking tool application and go into the tools tab. And under the tools tab, click on this house icon and put in your password. Here we're just going to be disabling our gatekeeper and to mount our disk in read and write mode. So we hit OK and it will do so for you in the background. And when it's done, you can close it up. And what we're going to do next is to reboot into our recovery mode to disable the SIP. So the first and the most important thing is to boot into our recovery mode in our hacking touch. And what you should do is to go and click on utilities in your menu bar and select terminal. So when your terminal opens, all you have to do is to type in a simple line of code which is CSR Util Disable. Hit enter and to disable your system integrity protection or something like that. And you can close it up and reboot into your Mac OS. So now I'm going to be opening this zip file called Apple Intel Wi-Fi and it will extract this text for us that we have here. So what we are going to do now is to edit this text and manually change our SSID and our Wi-Fi password. We don't want to install this Kext at all using any Kext installer. If you do so, you run into a Kernic panic, which basically means your laptop won't boot for you again, or it's go into an endless boot. So please, please, and please do not install this Kext at all. What we're going to do is to be loading the Kext anytime you want to use the Wi-Fi. So to edit the Kext, right-click on it and select Show Package Contents. In this folder, open contents and here is the file I'm going to be editing, this info.plist file. So right click on it and open with text edits. And now that we're in text edits, scroll down until you find this group of line of code. Under BSSID, you have the name of your Wi-Fi and under PWD, you will have your Wi-Fi password. So all you have to do is to simply put in the name of your Wi-Fi password. Mine is this and I'm putting your password, which mine is this. So when you've done that, go up to your menu bar and click on file, then hit save. And now you can close this. Next, we're going to drag our newly saved info file into our contents folder and replace the original info.plist file. So authenticate it and replace, put in your password and hit enter. So it will replace the info.plist file for you. And now you can close up this folder. The last thing we are going to do is to open our terminal and I'm going to be copying this line of code into our terminal. A simpler way will just to drag the file into the terminal and hit enter. It's actually to put in your password, so put in your password and hit enter to run the code for you and it looks like nothing has happened. What we have to do now is to go into 
our system preferences and click on network on that network you should see a tab named wi-fi and your wi-fi should be working now so you can see it's connected and you want it to show in your menu bar click on this show wi-fi status in menu bar and you to see that it will appear here so now you have wi-fi working and if you go into our browser you can see that it's working indeed and you don't have to worry about anything again for some of you if you run the code and you're having a yellow colored light here what you should do is to go into your advanced and if you have your network name already here remove it and add it again so i'm going to put in the name of my wi-fi network and put in my password then hit ok when you have done that you can click on ok and hit apply and when you do that the color of the indicator should change to green and your wi-fi will be working so that's it we have wi-fi working from our onboard intel wi-fi card without us having to go buy a new wi-fi card or use a usb wi-fi card um please please and please please do not install this kext at all with any kext installer do not copy it into your system slash library slash extension do not copy into your system files please do not do so if you do so your laptop will break you run into a kernel panic so please do not do so and also airdrop isn't working yet with this method so the only thing you can do is just connect to your wi-fi the airdrop isn't working you can't connect to another wi-fi network at all it won't let you do so if you want to connect to another wi-fi network you have to restart your computer go into the properties of the kex and change the name of the ssid to the wi-fi network you want to connect to also change the password when you save it you can run the code again and you'll connect to the wi-fi network so if this video was helpful make sure you give it a like share it with somebody you know might need it subscribe to see more of my videos and turn on post notifications to know when i post new videos um thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye